<laughs> Hi, this is Rudy from Jusen Kettner, and I'm here with Oliver Hartmann, Hi. and we will have a look at some new presets for the Black Spirit 200 from the all-new Cloud of Tone. Thanks for coming, Oliver. Thanks for having me. You brought your Black Spirit 200 right. and your recording setup, and uh, we want to see if we can find some presets from the Cloud of Tone that will fit to the playbacks you brought. So I suggest we go to the Cloud of Tone and uh, go through some presets and load them into your, your ramp. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm a little bit afraid of my presets that I have in here, so maybe we can do something like a backup with my sounds? Good point. Um, you should do a backup regularly. Uh, and it's very easy uh, with, uh, with the app for iPad and Android. So um, the app is connected via Bluetooth to the amp. In the upper left corner, you see a backup button. When I press the button, uh, it will ask you for a name. So uh, it says Factory Presets, and I call it Oliver Hartmann. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's reading all the presets from the amp into the app which is uh, pretty fast. And now you can go to the library and see now here is your backup. That's it. That's it. That's so, so easy. Uh, and even more, if you want to do a backup of the backup, <laughs> 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 and uh, you can transfer your, uh, your preset from the library, for example, to your MacBook simply by hitting the share button. Then you can uh, select the message, the email, and everything, and you can then you can send it uh, directly by email to yourself, and okay. then uh, store the, the backup uh, file in your cloud, on your USB stick, on your MacBook Pro somewhere, so it will never get lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the backup is done. Uh, let's go to the all new cloud of tone. You asked us for some more presets for the Black Spirit 200 series. And uh, so we have the Cloud of Tone now, which just started. So we have some of our artists now already have done presets for us. And of course, um, there will be more presets in the future. So here you see the Cloud of Tone. Um, it's not released yet. So the link is using ketnacom slash Cloud of Tone. And later, when it's released, of course, you will find um, the link directly here in the header. So uh, we have asked some of our friends, our artists, to make some presets. So we have just Ellen and some more, and you can simply scroll through all the presets. And the good thing is, even if you don't use the app, uh, you can have a look at the presets simply by hitting the screenshot. And uh, the app is designed in a way that you find all the parameters on one screen. So you could simply dial in the settings directly from here from the screenshot to the amp. Um, but of course, there is a more clever way to get all the presets into the amp. Um, you can see there is a file attached to um, each artist. And um, let's go to Michael Wagner, because I think we will need a decent crunch tone. That's right. Yeah. So. Click the file, then confirm download, then go into the downloads in the iPad, click the file again, and then hit the share button. That's how it works on the iPad. And then select the BlackBerry 200 floor app. And you see in the library, now we have Amplified us, Michael. That's the, the presets that Michael made for us. Okay. Um, but we will need uh, a lead tone as well for right. your playback. Okay, let's go back to the browser. And uh, maybe let's go to Joss Allen or... Oh no, let, let's go to Trotec Fliegler. He has some decent lead tones. And the preset says uh, the lead. Okay, let's see what he did in the settings. Yeah, that looks pretty like... Proper lead tone. Yeah. So let's download this as well. Same procedure. Jack. 
Expert 200 app. Now you see we have both. We have Michael and we have Jack. Um, and now you can even combine presets of both into one. Simply select Manage. And then you can drag and drop the presets we need um, for your playback. So here we already have um, the lead. And um, what we need is... Um, oh, I selected Oliver Hartmann. That's, that's wrong. I need another source. Uh, everywhere. We, <laughs> <laughs> we need um, Michael Wagner as a source. Okay, now we have Michael Wagner's presets. Here we have just Alan's presets. No, we have Jack's presets, sorry. And then we can simply drag and drop the beefy drive into this library. Save it. And uh, select this library. Go back. Here you see still the original factory presets. Um, you need to select and confirm first until you can play the preset. Now let's go to the beefy drive. Here we go. This was the rhythm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And here is the lead tone. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, there's delay, that's nice. And I can see which channel he's running right now. Yeah. On, on, oh, that's great. Okay, that's the crunch channel with the boost. That's yes. Okay, I like it so far, yes. Do we need a little, uh, little tweaking? If you can do it, yeah. Maybe some reverb. Okay, so we see a reverb is off here, so switch reverb on, and let's dive in. Now that we got the reverb, I maybe need some more of the delay, just the okay. mix. Yeah, I like that. That's great. Okay, so let's start it. Uh, hit store. Now you can uh, select a location. So the original is, uh, location is bank 1D. Let's confirm it. So it's stored again here. Okay. Um, and now the presets are in the app for iPad. Uh, you can play them directly or we can transfer everything into the Blackspear 200. So when you go on stage, you even don't need the iPad. So let's do this. Uh, simply hit the transfer button. It will ask you if it should really overwrite the memory into your amp. So, but thanks God, we made the backup. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now it takes a while to transfer the presets into the Black Studio 200. Now we transfer the presets into the amp. And uh, so you're ready to take the M to the rehearsal room or the stage. Um, and what we will do now is make a little recording Wait. with those presets um, for some playbacks you brought. Yeah. Maybe some words to expand our setup here. So we have the Black Spirit 200, um, the floor model. Um, and we have connected uh, it directly to the interface with an XLR cable. So for recording, you just have to make sure that you uh, set the right level. So if your interface features line level, you can set the output of the red box to line. If it offers microphone level, simply set it um, to line level. And then you are ready to go. You can record um, um, this preset, including the guitar cabinet simulation. So um, you can see it on the app uh, that we have a choice of different cabinets, like the 1x12, 2x12, and some 4x12 cabinets. And this is the reason why uh, we did set the Black Spirit uh, power amp to full range, and then you can connect um, a passive uh, speaker cabinet, a PA cabinet, like this one, um, to hear the different settings um, of the red box. With a guitar cabinet, um, you would, of course, set the amp to a guitar cabinet. Uh, it will sound great, but then your guitar cabinet is the speaker emulation, so um, the selection of different cabinets here wouldn't make any differences. 
but we want to hear the cabinets in the recordings, so that's the reason why we decided to go for a passive speaker cabinet. Okay, um, I brought a backing, a backing track uh, just with drums and bass. Um, that's why I needed a little bit more room and delay just to keep, uh, keep it big. And um, yeah, let's see what we got. It's a, it's a sound with the crunch channel, the boost on, delay reverb, and of course the speaker simulation directly into the interface. And let's see what we get. Okay, I like it. Sounds great. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what I liked about this sound is, um, maybe I'm too loud because I got the plugs in, um, it's, it's pretty dynamical. It's, you can play and still feel all the dynamic of the strings and um, it's great. Just by hitting a button and transfer it to the, to the unit. Perfectly. And that's it. Okay. Um, the next song I brought is a song with a complete band. So we got drums, we got bass, we got um, um, a singer. And um, I need a like crunchy sound that's got enough gain to keep it up in the um, chorus. But I'm playing also through the verse and um, I'm dialing down the volume so that I get a kind of clean sound just out of the, the crunch sound. Just so by rolling back the volume of the guitar. Just by rolling back. I don't want to switch. I want to have the same sound yeah. by rolling down. So let's see what we can do with um, yeah. this. So now we use the Michael Wagner beefy drive without any changes because it's already perfect. It is. Here we go. Okay. Okay, great. It's great. Mm -hmm. Just by dialing down, uh, you get a complete different sound, more cleanish and not so heavy as I needed in the verse. Okay. Thank you, Oliver, for coming. Uh, I think you, you could see how easy it is to uh, go to the website, have a look at the presets, uh, get the presets into the app, transfer them um, to the amp, and uh, simply make great recordings. Uh, with a very small and very effective setup. Um, you've been happy with the tone? I'm very happy. And when I think about um, dialing tones uh, at home into my mobile device, whatever it is, Android or, or an Apple, and then take the tones to the rehearsal room and plug them into the device that I have over there, it's so easy. It's yeah. so easy. Android, good point. There is an app for Android devices as well. And it works pretty much the same. Simply go to the website Cloud of Tone and uh, click on the file. It works for both iOS devices and Android devices. And um, yeah, simply load it into your Android device, uh, transfer the preset to your amp, and you're done. Easy as this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Oliver, for coming. Thank and you. Stay tuned for more. <laughs>